So the third one, once again, I'm looking where he's changed the feet in arms in X, but it doesn't matter. Well, he's under his feet, is And Y equals minus 0.7. So they look where they cross each other. So first thing is cos theta is minus 0.7. Theta is the inverse cos of minus 0.7. So that gives you the angle associated with it. From my calculator, so I'll do menu 1, shift, cos, and it was minus 0.7, wasn't it? There. So that gives me a value of 134.4. That's cool. Right, so then look on the graph. So I'm going to graph it now. So menu 5. Uh, so what am I going with? So I'm going with cos x, aren't I? So f2, f1 to get rid of it. Cos x. And it was minus 0.7. Check our range. It's minus 360 to 360 till still. If you look, we change the y values to make it right for time. So you know sine and cos go between 1 and minus 1. So I'm going to do minus 1.1 through to 1.1. There's my picture. So I'm going to add on the line from minus 0.7 all the way down here. There. And the first value out was the 140, it was. 134.4. So 134.4 is there. I can use the symmetry. That distance is the same as that distance, so that other one would be 360 take away. So you can use the kind of the, the symmetry of it to spot it. That one there is the same distance in, so it's like 134, that one. And that one is the same distance, so it's 360, or minus 360 plus 134. So if you didn't have your calculator, you can use the symmetry to help you. Right, so let's have a look then. So G solve and intersect. So I've got minus 225.7, I reckon. Uh, I reckon, yeah, well, no, 6, sorry. So theta is minus 225.6, using the completed pack, minus 134.4, 134.4, and 2.2. 5.6 there. Oh no, hang on, I'm going to put them on top. Move that up there. Will that be moved there? <laughs> Sorry, Lou. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the next one then. So the next one is oh, sine of 43 is just a number. So it's okay. It's just a value. So what have we got then? So sine theta is sine of 43. If I do the inverse sine of sine 43, randomly, you just get 43 out. Right, so I'm doing, this time I'm doing from 0 to 720. So let's get a picture then. Um, so if I do, change that to sine. So sine x. So I'm looking where sine x, this the x, is equal to sine of 43. There. So I've got my picture. Now I've got my my um, my x add values are wrong, aren't they? Because this is not to 720, and all the others have been minus 360 to 360. So make sure you check this. Make sure it's okay. So I'm going to do not to 720. And that's what we get. So if I have, let's have a look, so 360 in the middle, same distance roughly for 720, then 180, and what's that going to be? 540. Right, so it's going to go up to 1, down, down to minus 1, back to 0, up to 1, down to 1. So I'm going something like this. It's charity day today. There's lots of noise outside. So that's my sine graph. Sine of 43, if you look at the value, was up here somewhere. So that's sine 43. So that value there gave me 43. From the symmetry of the graph, you can see it's 43 in from there. 
So it's like a minus 43 away from 180. From the symmetry of the graph, this other one is 43 that way from 360. From the symmetry of the graph, it's that way from 540. So you can use the symmetry of the graph to get it. But we're going to cheat and use our calculators, because that's what we're going for. Why spend so much money and not be able to use them when we have the class words, which is rubbish. So we're going with this one, so intersect. So I've got 43. So the next one should be 180 take away 43, which is 147. The next one should be 360 plus 43, which is 403. So this is all in the symmetry of the graphs. The next one is 540 take away. There you go, so I'm not making it up. You can use the symmetry of the graph if you want to. I'm up to six minutes. I'm going to have to miss. I'm going to have to sneak another one in. Let's be quick and do another one. Oof, this one. Oh, that's noisy outside. There's some screeching outside. And then I'll move it up. There. Right, so I've got three cos theta. Minus one is zero. I need it to say cos theta equals. So I'm going to rearrange it. I'm going to add on the 1 and I'm going to divide by 3. So cos theta is a third. Then I'll do the inverse cos of it. We'll do loads of these in class, by the way, if you think this is just going to blow your mind. We do absolutely shed loads. And because we've done loads of these on, on the video and in class, we do really, really well with them. So I'm going to do shift cos of a third. Gives me 70.5. Right, so let's graph it then. Uh, oh, this is not a 540. God, that's massive. So menu 5. I'm doing cos x, I think. What was I doing? Cos x and a third, that's what I was doing. And 1 over 3. Cos x and a third. Set my axes right. So my viewing window should be 0 to 540. Oh, that's a bit easier, I guess. Let's see what we get in terms of the picture. Right, so I've got my 360. Got my 180. I'm a 90, my 270. I've got 450 and there's a 540. So I've got a picture going from 1. It goes down to 180, up to 360. Down to, oh, down to 540. Yours would be a nicer picture. And I'm looking at a third, so I'm drawing a line across that third. So that's my first value out. That's my 70.5, which is good. Using the symmetry, if you look, it's going to be, oops, going wrong. That distance there from the top is 70.5, so I'm going to go that way, 70.5. So that'll be one, that'll be 360 take away 70.5. And the other one's going to go that way, it's going to add on 70 So let's see what we got then. Let's have a look, see if I'm not making it up. So I've got my, is it feet I'm using? 70.5 is my first one. My next one will be 360 take 70.5, which is 289.5. And then the last one is 360 plus 70.5. Which is 430.5. There. Don't worry, this stuff's tough. We'll do loads of new class stuff. And doing the vids is really helpful. So we'll do that on a separate uh, vid now, actually.